hey kid, you wanna buy some drugs? Bootleg Sonic games? Now he's gonna say drugs. I already have every bootleg Sonic game. What? I'm not selling bootleg Sonic games. I spent $96 on bootleg Sonic games. Why would you do that? Don't judge me, you sell drugs. Yeah, well, I'm just you, because you don't have any friends to play other characters, so you just duplicate yourself. You can't make that joke anymore. I have my friends in my videos. The secret's out. Well, you don't have a real body. You're just an edit, too. We're all edits down here. I knew you couldn't last without making another Sonic video. You're just like your father. Bootleg Sonic games, because what did you actually expect? So I actually found most of these when I was on Amazon browsing for a video, and I found that there was a company that just sold a bunch of these bootleg Sonic games. Apparently a lot of them can be played online, but we need physical copies, and so of course I proceeded to spend way too much money on them, which is mostly fine, because honestly, heat, food, and transportation are kind of overrated. Now, the first one we're gonna look at is uh, Sonic 2 XL. It's just a pixelized fat Sonic with a <laughs> JPEG of onion rings. On the back it says, do not bend it, crush it, or submerge it in liquids, all of which I do plan on doing. Mega. These are dirty lies. It's just Sonic 2. It's actually just Sonic 2. It's definitely not just Sonic 2. Look at him boobs! Look at that, look at those man boobs! Tails, you seen this? You can't, I can't even see you. <laughs> Tails, please. Tails, please carry me, please. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> Alright. And I, I actually just can't move now. <laughs> what? I only have five rings. Why am I growing? No! No, oh, no! Thank you. Please, hit me again. Please, I need... I don't need anything. So the gist of this game is, if you have too many onion rings, you're gonna start going into cardiac arrest. You're gonna have a heart attack, you're gonna have a stroke. And the only way to stop that is to get hit by enemies, which I assume is like a cardio simulant. Looks like after you collect the rings, there's no going back. We can't, we can't lose this weight, no matter how fast we run. All right, we may have gotten a checkpoint, but remember kids, there's no checkpoints in life. There's, there's... <laughs> Tails, you better treasure these days of being young and spry and high metabolism having. Someday you'll be like old Sonic here. Be your gut and... Sad. <laughs> you need to be my caretaker. I can't handle myself anymore. Carry me. So you can lose weight, either by running, which does make sense for real life, but you can also get the mystery liposuction <laughs> item. Hey kids, there's nothing more cool than eating a giant cheeseburger. But remember, it's your body. Don't let diabetes tell you what to do with it. So what do you do? First, find liposuction item. Make sure that you're being cared for by someone you like, like your small friend you've kidnapped, who has no parents to tell him not to hang out with big old beer gut Sonic. Ah ha! Tails, we have found the liposuction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> no no. I have... <laughs> not this jump again. I don't like this game. Gosh, that sure was something relevant that has to do with the game. I hadn't played it yet while recording this part. Sonic Jam 6. There is no Sonic Jam 2 through 5. Don't look for them. I searched extensively as I was tricked and deceived by this bootleg Sonic game, which on the back has to clarify in big beautiful font that it is indeed 16-bit. Sonic Jam 6. The sixth installment in the Sonic Jam series. Featuring Super Mario Bros. 3 music. I feel like it's ripping off Metroid a little bit. <laughs> Everything here in the audio department sounds very off. It's Knuckles! You don't understand, it's not Mario the Lost Levels ported with Sonic characters. It feels like you're controlling Bubsy. Alright, at the very least, uh, Warp Zone is way more desirable in this game, because I don't want to- I don't want to be playing it. Now, I don't know which- <laughs> which worlds these pipes lead to anymore. I'm pretty sure this is the farthest one. Nope. Disgusting. 
next is Sonic Winter Games. That's Winter Adventure. You know what? I have one job. You know, I kind of don't have much to say. Lies. Alright, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Adventures 3 game. Oh! This is Sonic CD! On the Sega S Sonic CD with spin dashes. This is actually brilliant. Whoever made this, you do well. The controls are fluid. The gameplay flawless. The design is, is so smooth. This is, dare I say, better than Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Uh, okay, this boss has been going on for a little bit too long. But that's the genius of it. Perfect design, perfect length of this boss. They knew that I would start to comment on it and they said, okay, right here, this is when the player will get annoyed and then we end it right there. Flawless. All right, this game is actually not too bad, to be honest, it's actually pretty good. Uh, and that's no fun, so we're moving on. Uh, this one is called Sonic Code Gray. I'm not gonna lie, that's about the least exciting name I've ever heard for any game ever. Let's just jump into it. That's a lie, but I don't know what you said. Address error. <laughs> Zero dollars and one cent. Genesis done? Genesis done? All right, so for the sake of not having to reset the console, I'm gonna try not to die. Unlike Sonic, I don't fart. All right, I forgot not to die. Gyro sister. All right, act two of my zero death run. Literally, because if I die, the game corrupts. I'm gonna guess the code gray relates to the fact that if the game, well, there's gray text if you die and the game just breaks. Uh, that time we got one cent. Sonic Eraser. Hopefully the prequel to Sonic and the Secret Rings giving us the inside backstory to Eraser Gin, also known as Eraser Alcohol. Didn't think about that one very much. Lies. Hello and welcome to Sonic Eraser, the craziest journey you I'm having troubles reading this, but it's extremely familiar to me. I know this. Oh no, I played this. I remember this. Welcome to Sonic Eraser, the craziest journey you will ever take with your favorite blue hedgehog. I know you want to dive right into the action and get your brain blown apart by this and so... Okay, now I'm a little bit scared. I played it online on a Flash game, so on a video, in fact. Oh yeah, I remember it. I remember all uh, the explosions and the, and the loud noises. Uber Hub. I've never been to Uber Java. Ah, let me go. Obama's gone. <laughs> I did it. Uh, 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 <laughs> everything's blowing up. Sour Fist, those were not a game. Good game, played it already. Uh. Sonic the Lost Worlds, here's the case, here's a joke about it, that's it. Ha have fun. Lies. Dust Hill Zone 1. Ah, yes. Tales, we're in the Arabian desert. You must find the Prince of Poesia. Why did I go meowth? Vector! Ah, Vector! Vector, we get it, you're Vector. Ah, ah, Vector! Ah, crap! Ow! It's not Sega! Sonic Classic Heroes, I was just chewing on this. It's not Sega though, it's just not. Hey, the gang's all here! Whoa! You could be different characters! You could be Tails and be afraid of lightning! Yep, we go! Wait, wait, wait! Blast away! Blast away! Get off the ass! I'm sad! Leave it to me, let's go! Wait, 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 wait! Tails, don't forget you can push the fly button to start flying. That a green hills are ecto! A prepubescent. Knuckles, don't forget you can push the jump button to jump. You can also stop pushing the jump button to stop jumping. You'll then fall to the ground using the power of gravity. If you hold the jump button in the air, you can glide. And if you stop, then you'll stop gliding. Gliding into walls can allow you to climb. If you stop climbing, you'll not climb anymore. 
and you'll be done climbing. If you become invincible, you'll be invincible, and you won't be vincible, because invincible is the opposite of vincible, which I don't honestly know the definition of. Don't forget you can use your eyes to look around. If you use your controller use your to, to control around, the game and use the video, make sure that you make a Sonic Heroes video. game. This concludes Knuckles' endless tutorials. Don't forget to eat and drink and sleep and, and live life. I just killed myself. This has been Sonic Heroes 2. We'll finish things off with a horror game. Phantom Ketchup in the Eyes Sonic. Because Peter wants not to be demonetized Sonic and earn a paycheck Sonic. Ketchup by Sonic. Not Ketchup by Sonic. It's just normal Sonic, guys. It's just Sonic but normal. Da 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 da. Whoa, what happened? The music's playing backwards. It's all red. Oh, it's creepy. And the enemies are can't be killed. And I'm there's. It's actually horrifying. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can I- thank you. Thank you for- he hello. Oh, it's so creepy when games f greet you friendly. It's funny because this game actually, a lot of people used to tell me to play it, and uh, I don't care to. I- I have troubles- can you stop? I have troubles beating regular Sonic. I ain't gonna- I ain't gonna play Dark- sorry, Phantom Sonic. Don't forget to eat your vitamins! Or Phantom Sonic's gonna get you. Eat your broccoli. Complete! And so that's it, and that's the only thing I'm ever going to use these games for. I'm probably not going to play them by myself, which would be even more sad than the fact that the only other Genesis games I own are these four. Three of which are sports... four of which are sports titles. I, did, I didn't even stop there. I bought this uh, Retron specifically to play these games. So I don't know, throw up another 20 bucks in there. That actually smells super good. What, you don't sniff your Retrons? Get on my level. Hey kids, there's nothing more cool than sinking your teeth into a big juicy onion ring from the local joint and letting it bulge you up into a plump paisano. But just remember, it's your body, and nobody has the right to tell you what to do with it. If someone tries to peer pressure you into eating them or gaining weight for their personal fan fiction, that's no good. DeviantArt can be a great place, but there's a lot of people just waiting to catch you doing things like eating or not wearing any shoes for their own personal reasons. Keep diligent and never feed into people's internet fetishes. Sonic, though, we do that all the time in this show when we have our self-growth or have feet tickling seeds or turn us into babies. Suck a leg, Tails.